Hello my loves, welcome to the instructional page here on MakeupAndMagic.com. My name is Melody and I am the owner. Um, this page is dedicated to sharing, you, sharing with you how to use the tools that um, you've purchased through us. So the first thing we're going to go over here is our Intro to Herbs Kit. The Intro to Herbs Kit is a really great way to get started on working with herbs and candles. So what this has is four vials of herbs and they're all marked for you. And I'll show you, we have lavender. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that, there we go. We have lavender, we have chamomile, rosemary, and also we have motherwort. I mean, what also comes with some cascaria. Cascaria is a protective substance that's used to protect any work that you do, as well as it comes with three candles, a green, a red, and a white. So green is really good for prosperity work, red is really good for passion, love, creativity, and white is kind of all-purpose for prayers, petitions, hopes, and all those other things. I'm going to quickly go over how it is that you can use these, and with some help from my wife, we'll explain what some of these herbs can use for. I picked these herbs specifically because they allow us to have a lot of flexibility with what it is that they can use. They're very all-purpose herbs. So um, let's start off with chamomile. And my wife, what we're, where we're coming from, where we're opening, getting most of our information from, you can get your information. Um, can, can you get that for me, Mike? You can get your information from online. There's a thousand sources online. I often link a lot of them as well. But the book that I'm using is the, um, this book is amazing and we're, we've got a lot going on. All right, Witches Crafts, Volume 2. It's a book of correspondences. So the reason that we chose chamomile, I'll go through each one of them really quickly. Some of the things that you can use chamomile for uh, is for the magical attributes. Now we're going to focus on the magical attributes. They do have a lot of attributes that can be used for medical purposes. We're going to focus on the spell work here. So some of the things that you can use chamomile for are attraction, to remove blockages, for calmness, to remove curses and hexes, um, love, luck, meditation, money, patience, purification, sexuality, sleep, um, and wealth. So that's some of the things that you'll use for it. Now I'll go through what each of the components of all of these are, and then I'll show you how you can quickly use the cascaria and the candles and all of it together so that you can actually put your work in together. So the next one that we're gonna go over is lavender, because lavender should be the next one on the list. Some of the magical attributes that lavender can be used for. Chastity, clairvoyance, devotion. So anytime that you're like petitioning someone, um, any energies or any deities um, for dream work, fairy magic, if you're into that. But if you are working with the fairies, be careful. Uh, that's not something that you want to get right into. They're tricky. Um, hand fasting, which is a ceremony done in like a commitment ceremony, marriage. Happiness, healing, longevity, love, meditation, mental clarity, money, peace, protection, sexuality, sleep, virtue, wishes, and purification. So we also have, what was it, rosemary and, and motherwort. So LMM -M comes before motherwort. M comes before R, because I know my ABC. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so when we're looking at motherwort, motherwort is a really great tool. That's a really great um, herb. So some of the properties of motherwort are confidence, counter magic, easing childbirth, ego bolstering, feminine magic and feminine mysteries, strength, fertility, happiness, joy, perfection, and success. And success is broad, so you can use that in success in a lot of things. And lastly, we have rosemary. So rosemary has, it's a very, 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 um, another one of those that is it's really versatile. You can use it for a lot of things. Um, these are all things too that you can mix into, like if you purchase the sage stick, you can break off some of the sage stick and add some of these properties in and burn them to cleanse your home or to cleanse yourself before doing any ceremonies. So for rosemary, some of the most common correspondence and magical attributes for using rosemary is it's a aphrodisiac baby blessing. It's good for invoking um, psychic energies too, like increasing your clairvoyance, cleansing, elf magic, exorcism, fairy magic, 
friendship, healing, hex breaking, longevity, love, lust, memories, your mental powers, psychic powers, protection, purification, um, wickening, and for youth. So these are just some of the things that you can start incorporating these in when you're working with your spell work. So what you can do is take a little bit. So when you're using these candles, some of them are going to come with the pillar candles, which look like this. And some of them are going to come with these little tea lights. So it just depends on which one you got. So let me show you really quickly how it is that you can actually use these. Okay, so you're going to want to make sure that you're safe, obviously, when you're burning. Always want to keep in contact. Um, keep in mind the forefront safety when burning. So one of the things that you can use is you can just place your candles um, onto a piece of aluminum foil. Aluminum foils can be incorporated into the spells, but we're not going over that today. And what I'm going to show you with some of my, um, some of my herbs is how it is that you can do this. So simply with the rosemary... Um, we're using the rosemary for example, and that's already a pre-made kit, so I don't want to mess it up. You're just going to take a pinch of it and put it into the camera, uh, pull it into the tea light candle. And then, you know, before you actually light it, you want to actually speak to the herbs and activate their magical properties. As we went over, there's so many different uses for each herb that you want to tell the herb what it is that you're doing. So I'm going to tell this herb like, Rosemary, I thank you for your magical powers of protection and it's, uh, enhancing my psychic ability. I call upon you now to help me do this. And if you work with any angels or deities or anybody, anything like that, um, call them in. Make your intentions known. And then light the candle. Sometimes I like to let the flame kind of go over the herbs themselves. And then that's that. And I'm going to put that on to the aluminum foil. And I'm going to show you how to kind of protect it with the cascaria in a moment. But let me show you how to do it if you got a pillar candle. So with the pillar candles, what I like to do is sometimes just take a little bit of heat to the candle just to kind of like warm it up a little bit. And then I'm going to take a pinch of whatever herb I'm working with. And I'm going to kind of sprinkle it onto a surface and while it's still warm I'm going to just kind of roll and dust that candle and you'll see some of them stick on to the candle itself you're gonna have some fallout just make sure you get the candle nice and warm and then you're going to uh, I'm just gonna put this over here so I'm not making too much of a mess then you're gonna light it just like you lit the other one activate it tell it what it is that you're thanking it for or what it is that you need its assistance with and then you're going to place it onto whatever process, um, the plate or the aluminum foil or whatever safe thing that it is you're using to burn it. So the final step would be to secure it with the cascaria. So I'm using a cascaria. I just took mine out of the souffle cup because I often like to like, you know, break it apart. And I do have a video that will be up about the ways that you can use cascaria. So go ahead and take a look at that if you want some additional information on all the ways that you can use this. But wherever it is that I have the candle, I'm going to draw a circle right around it. You write with it just like chalk. You're going to thank the cascaria for the protection. And you're going to protect your spell or whatever it is that you use this for. Um, and a ring of this cascaria. Because cascaria is made mainly of eggshells. And, and there's a little bit of flour in there too. And you'll have a little, you know, leftover on your hand. Um, and then just put your intention out there for that to be for the spell to be protected for your petition or your manifestation to be protected And then that's it. So those are all the things that come in the intro to herbs kit If you guys have any questions feel free to follow me over on Facebook under makeup and magic or on Instagram and TikTok. I share a lot of videos on there, little quick tips that you can use these things for. And other than that, thank you for your purchase. I am honored to be able to be a part of the journey that you're on and just let us know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Love you. Bye.